With the MLB draft already underway, a young prospect shares his expectations with a former coach. Carlos, you lived that in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources and my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. Let's see if he's pumping up mentally here to adapt. That's what good players do. That dream of getting the big leagues is now becoming reality with that one phone call. Continuing our MLB Draft Day 2 wrap-up coverage, back to the prospect that we mentioned before the break. There was some surprise, even some criticism of the front office over how early he went off the board. Jonathan Mayo, what do you think of this pick? Man, I, I don't think any of us saw this one coming. This uh, definitely feels like a, a reach to me. Uh, you know, I, I had him more as a, a day three kind of guy. Uh, there was a split camp. A lot of scouts disagreed whether he's better as a pitcher or better as a hitter. I, I'm guessing the, the the team felt that he's got potential on both sides of the ball, and, and maybe that adds some value to him. But uh, this made me scratch my head a little bit for sure. All right, Jonathan Mayo, thanks. Uh, what about you, Jim Callis? Was this a head-scratcher or the reach of the draft, as some of the other analysts have suggested? Yeah, you know, I, I talked to somebody with the team, and they look, they're, they're excited to get this guy. This is a guy they really want. And the two points the club made to me were, one, you know, this whole debate, is he a hitter, is he a pitcher? You know, what are you going to do with him? You know, there was a lot of confusion. This team isn't confused. This team feels like he's a, he's got very good potential as a hitter and as a pitcher. They may even try to play him both ways. And they also, they felt like there were a couple other teams that were starting to sniff around this guy. And, you know, this isn't the NFL or NBA draft where you can trade down to get a guy you want. If you want a guy, you have to take him because there, there's no trades. And, and they felt like if they didn't take him where they did, somebody else was going to get them. And they just absolutely did not want that to happen. Jim Callis, we appreciate the time. Thanks. A minor league manager checks in with one of his players to discuss a launch plan for the young man's development. Rolling along with the podcast and back on the prospect who's divided the scouting community, I am opposed to this belief that he went too high. I really think he could be a steal here. This is a guy who's got so much development left to do. He's got so much potential. And I think all the scouts who are down on him think, oh, he's not a finished product. We don't know what he is. That, to me, could be a good thing. He can hit. He can feel. He can pitch. There is so much untapped potential so far for this guy. I'm excited to see what he becomes. And certainly as he gets started actually playing, actually being in games, we're going to be able to talk to some other folks who get a better read on him and see what they think. I'm excited for that. And frankly, I'm going to have my eye on him for a while. player receives a check-in from one of his coaches.
continuing coverage of double a northeast league baseball is on the air opening night here in this brand new season between the Bowie Bay Sox and the Altoona curve it's baseball on the show and it's coming up next. Quinn Priester gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on. So now here is That'd Joe cool. Random the looking to viewers. put them ahead early with Joe. this at bat. Come on, big guy, get your pitch and let it rip. Let's go. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Ground ball left side. Oh, and oh, diving hold on, stop. Hold on, right here. He's up with it, the throw. And maybe some miscommunication there as the throw zips right by him. And now they'll get him at third base, trying to move up further, but a run is already across to score. And that right there was his first double-A base hit. I would imagine he's got to feel pretty good about that. I'm sure he does, Matt. A lot of guys never get to double-A baseball, and even though this isn't the end goal for him, it's always nice to get on the stat sheet as you move up through the minors. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry. Next, it'll be Dave Rosa. And we'll see what Number he can do four. here after going deep Dave. his first time up. High Rosa. fly ball out to straightaway center. Random gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Nothing doing here this half. And now in the box, Joe Random. Center fielder, number 24. Joe Random. Hey, let's go, big fella. First offering on its way. Well, and he misses point. inside with that one. Ball one. Let it rip right here. Let's go. Inside, Whoa, and he falls behind the hitter now. 2-0. Oh. Well, both of those balls have been right, inside. Go, so kid. if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Whoa, outside, 3-0 and oh now. Hey, he hey, threw see, that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Hey. That one's in there, three and one. Hey, that's a quality take right there. He knows the pitcher's trying to get him to hit a ground ball and roll two. The three and one pitch. Uh, swing three and, and a miss, and that'll fill the count at three and two. Come on. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. Ross is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Stepping in next, Christian Kelly. Now for one for him first here in this one. Christian. High Kelly. in the air out to center field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. So just the one hit in the inning, but it's a home run. So now it'll be the four hole the hitter, fielder, Joe Random, trying here to plate the tying run from second. Random. Like you can, like you can, come on. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Ah. Now that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on, he's got everything working. The 0 1 offering, weak grounder down the line at third. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Low scoring game thus far, 2-1 to one here in the sixth. Swing and a line drive. Come on, dig, 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 the score. Yeah, make the turn. Third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate. It's a 2 2 game. Hey, way to drive that one. There you go. At the plate now is Austin Wins. He now went down on strikes in his last at bat. Here comes the 1 2. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to first, and he can't come Whoa, up with it. Get out, get out, get out. 
As we watch this, I'm trying to figure out what happened here. Looked like the throw was on target, and it was. He just didn't close the glove over it, and he's safely aboard as a result. Those are tough to explain sometimes. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Joe Random. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Ross is there, one quick out to start inning number nine. Through and it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Rosie Contreras claims the win out of the pen his first. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, minor league baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Bowie Bay Sox and the Altoona Curve. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Cody Bolton is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And anytime you have that four pitches, cool. if you can throw them for strikes, cooler. you have the big advantage. No. One time, First offering go. on its way. Graffinino over at second. Nevin at first with no outs. Go. Liner toward right center. You're going, you're going, you're going, you're going. Ball, you got it. Hit. Round it. And the run is in to score from second. Hey, this pitcher better make an adjustment. That's a lot of loud contact. That's four bullets in the first inning to open up this game. Digging in will be Austin Wins. That'll fit. The catcher, Austin. Wins. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Sable is there. Let's see if they try it. And he might have thought about it at third, but with one away, decides not to risk it. So next to hit is Gunnar Henderson. Another first Gunner. inning RBI opportunity Henderson. for him here. Line to the right side. And that find the ball, get find the ball. Right field for a get base down, get out, score is the runner hey, from third. Hey, it's a three-nothing game. Throw nice won't hit, get him. Boy. Good job. Now to the plate, Christopher Cespedes. That is seven. Keep driving, let's go the right, right here. here. Christopher Here it comes, 0-2. And, and this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Safe after the recovery throw. Good effort, but now we have to wonder whether or not he's going to be okay. Throw well, gets him, so they are able to get it out on an unusual play. So stepping in is Joe Random. He singled in his first AB. The pitch. Liner towards second, but right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Stepping up is Troy Stokes, and they've got some work to do early on. Down 4 nothing already. High in the air out to center field. Junior. Random has to run straight back, but he has it for the first out. Next to stand in is Elvis Colon. He went deep in the contest last night. Elvis Colon. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Around first, digging relay, for two. Relay, relay. And he'll reach second now with one away. That's how quickly things can change in this crazy game. The pitcher was upset about the call in the previous pitch, which could have been strike three. Next, it'll be Dwayne now Ross. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Dwayne Ross. Wind up and the 0 1. 
A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So the next to bat will be Joe Random. One for two on his line so far in the game. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Left fielder looking up, and it's gone. And a big moment for him there, his first home run as a double-A player. Yeah, and you always like to get those first out of the way, no matter what level you're playing at. So next to bat will be Jason DeLay. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Fly ball out toward left center field. Long run for the center fielder. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Next up is Joe Random. He's already got four RBIs in this one. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Now batting. Stepping in once again is Austin Wins. There was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how. And late reactions, and they got him. Now with the plate is Dwayne Ross. Flew out last time up. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Bottom of the inning now. And digging in is the outfielder, Troy Stokes. Offense just the needs to fielder. find a way to get that Troy. pass the baton mentality. Starts one Junior. at bat at a time. I know they need base runners clearly. Maybe if they could get a few guys on the pillow, someone can bop one and get him back in this. Around second now and headed for third. And he is in the third with a leadoff triple. Other than a home run, there aren't a whole lot of better ways to start an inning than a triple. Pretty good chance of at least getting one run in this inning now. So now to the plate, Joe Random singled in his last at bat. Joe. Right here. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. Nope. A ball and a strike. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at-bat. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Hey, two out, nobody ready. on. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Find the ball. That's the way Boy, to talk the about right having there. a day, Debo. He gets his fourth knock of the game, but mixed in with one of those four was a round tripper. Not a bad day. Yeah, you have five, maybe a handful of games that you can throw out now four bad. knocks throughout the course of the year. Add in a tater to go with it. He's smiling. His food's going to taste better tonight. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. 8-3 tonight. The Bowie Bay Sox jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Kevin Smith gets the win on the
A double A hitting coach touches base with a new arrival to the team. We hear all the time from people around the game that double A is where you start to see the breaking balls that are really set apart from what you've seen before. That can be a big challenge for a young hitter. Absolutely. And I think, you know, when you, when you think back to, um, you know, some of the pitchers that I face, some of the guys that you face in the big leagues uh, for five, six, you know, ten years, you're thinking, man, I saw him somewhere. Yeah, it was double A because when you <laughs> see most prospects of any organization, they pretty much go to double A. A prospect receives a check-in from his agent who wants to make sure his client's career is being launched in a way that suits the young man's goals and ambitions. Future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes. Striding forward now is the DH, Joe. Ray Let's take a look at this young two-way player and the experiment they're running with him. You see him on the mound sometimes, but most of his work is in the field. Would you have wanted to do something like that, Dan? It's very interesting, Manny, because most pitchers that have big arms, you can move them around the diamond. One of the things you have to have if you want to play defensively, particularly in the outfield or, or one of the middle infield spots, is to have a strong arm. The key is going to be how they can be able to save his arm if he's going to pitch and mix him into that mix as a position player. But when you have an arm like this guy does, you have a chance to do both and do both well. Of course, it would have been tough for you to pull that off, Danny, being a left-handed pitcher. A few of the infield positions might have given you a hard time. Yeah, it would have been difficult in my situation, Matt, being a lefty, because other than first base or one of the corner outfield the spots, round it, I think round I would have had a difficult time playing third, short, or second. So my work would have been on the mound or probably one of the quarter outfield spots. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as good. possible, and Objective. feed it into the opposite oh, field for a base hit. Win. Get them all, big dog. Shit. Three no, open. And there he nope. goes towards second. Side. And he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and second that now to good. start the inning. The center fielder. Now at the plate, here is Ryan McKenna. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. Random at second, wins on at first with nobody out. And both runners are off again. Swing and miss right down, three. Down, the down. Not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. So the decision to run that time pays off as now following the strikeout, two men are in scoring position with just that the one tough. out. The right fielder. Now with the right plate, the Christopher Cespedes. Hit on the ground to third. And oh, he can't knock this one down as it zips right by him in the left. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2 nothing ball game. Hey, this one's a long way. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Joe Random. For me, this is an important add-on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it. But keeping the pressure on, building that lead, that's how you bury someone. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. And now here now is Maddie. Austin Catcher. Wins. He worked the walk and came around to score in his Win. first trip in this game. The bounce it to the left side. 
And he can't scramble back in time, and that is a costly out at third. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now, and standing in is the DH, the Joe hitter. Random. Joe. Off what the plate else? and low here, Rando. ball one. <laughs> Lifted down the line and left. <laughs> Clearly off one with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Hey, wait for yours here. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. That's a pretty impressive. To the plate now is the designated the hitter, off. Joe Random. Two for hitter. three with a double on his line so far. One ball, no strikes to count. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. The count now at two and one. Hey, let it rip, let it rip, let it go. All right, one time, right here. And now pitch on the way. Well, that's off the plate. Great situation right here, leading hey, off the inning. Up You've got to find off. a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. Ross is there, and he has it for the first down. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. The Altoona. A minor league pitching coach offers advice to a new member of his staff. It's actually happening. The organization has decided to try him as both a position player and as a pitcher. They're really trying it here at the AA level. Jonathan Mayo of MLB Pipeline is with me. Jonathan, do you think this can work? I mean, can it work, Ben? Yeah, of course it can work. It hasn't worked all too often. Uh, there are more and more teams who are trying to make it work. Most of these guys as amateurs were two-way players. Uh, you know, they don't specialize usually until later on, uh, and often they choose one or the other. You see more and more teams really making an effort to let players do both to see maybe one jumps to the foreground uh, on, on its own organically. It's awfully hard just because of the amount of work that you have to put in to excel either as a hitter and position player or as a pitcher naturally some work is going to be taken away from one or the other if you're splitting your focus and that's why we haven't seen it too often guys have to be tremendous athletically to be able to do both the work ethic has to be off the charts it's happened a couple of times at the major league level uh, but it's few and far between so i'm really interested to see if it's going to work out in this case This minor league team is reminded that the eyes of the organization are keeping tabs on them.
MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Bowie Bay Sox and the Redding Fighting Phils. We've got baseball on Ladies the and show, and it's coming Your up next. Redding Fighting Phils. Julian Garcia, the native of Colorado, gets the start Three. on the mound. Into the box, Kerry Chow. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the first. The fighting Bill, the center fielder, Kerry Chow. Pitch on the way. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike hey, one. On, oh, as you take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening, they enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. Yeah, Maddie, this team's in the grind part of their schedule right now. Just had a short homestand, able to say hello to the family, kiss the wife, tuck the kids in at night, and they're back on the road again. This should be interesting to see the energy this team plays with today. Batting second. And now, hitter. Nick Maton. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Now the pitch. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. McKenna is there, two gone. Riding in is Scott Spindler. Yeah, he's definitely good. off to a fast start good. in the early part of the season. No balls in one strike. Spindler. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swinging strike, okay, and now count. it's 0-2. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, nope. the offense better step one up. Ball, Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. We played an inning, still nothing, nothing. So now into the box is Kevin Velasco. He also had three hits in the win last night. That's shortstop. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Velasco. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Hey, no one down here. Curveball got him swinging for the first down. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fit. fooled because no that was a curveball and it looked like he was late two, on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. Into the box now. Jalen Ortiz has the, the right changeup to him. Drops in there oh, for the first strike. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Yeah, Matt, right now this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield around the mound and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. As a look, now it is. Derek Hall no, started to go down. around, but it's Derek. a cold strike. 0 and 1. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Bottom of the third now, and next to hit is the catcher, Leading Jack Conley. The and a swing and the a ball catcher. into the corner that hooks Jack. foul. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 and two now. Fouled away. Interesting pitch selection right there in off the plate. Not too many pitchers in the game want to go in there and risk hitting the guy and letting him get on first base free of charge. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game, and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed that for the enough. strikeout there. And the I've seen a baseball. lot of hitters Matt. look pretty off with their timing great so far. Throw. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. 
The wind up and the 0-1. Mine to the right side. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Next to hit, Kerry Chow. Center fielder, number 16. Kerry. First pitch on its way. Chow. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And striding Leading forward, the designated, the, hitter, yeah. the designated hitter, Nick Maton. designated hitter. In there for strike Nick. one, 0 and 1. Maton. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Next up, Scott Spindler struck out in his first at bat. Man. Now here's the pitch. Spindler. There's a strike at the knees. 0 and 1. one's the count. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's gonna have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Next, here is Kevin Velasco. Now comes back. into this at bat, That's 0 for style. 1 in the ball game. Kevin. Just got a Velasco. piece of it as it's fouled back. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. In. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's 1 and 1. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. He's and relay, no one will get relay, this one. Relay. One two misses for the second ball. Two out, nobody on. To one, first, one, one. he's got it, and he'll oh. step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So nothing happening this time around. Set now for the bottom of the we fifth. And the digging in is the outfielder Cornelius no Randolph. No balls and a strike to count. Randolph. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Here comes a left fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now batting. Right field. The pitch. Jalen Ortiz comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And it's one and one. We got one a 1-1 one, one. takes a pass and misses that strike one two. two strike. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on a proverbial rocking horse all night, changing speeds, hitting every quadrant. He's tough to hit. Plays it first now. Here he comes again, 1-2. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. Thankfully, he's oh. able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring now, that leg. The first and that is his plant yeah, leg, which is always a concern. Oh. But from the oh, way he's one. acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. One, one. Hit to short. Throw in the oh. dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error. And now it'll be Jack Conley to start things out in their half of the we sixth as they the look to shake pills. things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, yeah. has been non-existent today. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Maddie, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell him get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. Straight up, straight up, straight up. has room in foul territory. One out.
Digging in next, Matt Schaefer now hit it hard when lined out in his first at bat. Oh, it's taken throw. several inches below the zone, in fact. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. And now a curveball that's low and, and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Cut it, cut it. No and running, no he's running. in there easily at second with a one-out double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and now this bat. might be their chance right here. They struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores. Him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Fastball well outside. Schaefer leads off second with one gun in the inning. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Swing and a liner. And that's in there. Base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's one to one. Boy, talking about picking your teammate up after that strikeout, d -Row. Big, big, and I mean big, two-hard RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside it, stayed through the baseball, and was able to come through. Scott Spindler is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. A little bit off the outside, it's one and two. Two out with the man at first. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Good job to lay off that one-two break. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Your Jim Cuevas will come on out of the bullpen. 7-1, the final score in tonight's. The Bowie Bay Sox jumped ahead. Win. player new to his double-A squad gets a tip from one of his coaches. 